What is up, everybody? Welcome back to RacingDudes.com. We're here today to talk about the Alley Dar Stakes at Saratoga. It should be a pretty decent one here. A lot of pretty, uh, well, maybe not a lot of salty runners, but a few that we've seen win some big races in the past. Uh, it will be on Thursday, August 4th. It will be a field of six. Uh, and, and we've got a mile on an eighth, $135,000 purse here on the dirt. I mentioned it is a field of six. It's a solid group of six. Uh, I'm going to go with the two outside horses as my top two picks. Let's start with the number five, Art Collector, uh, coming in here for Bill Mott. So we'll see what happens with Art Collector. Last time we saw him, he was at the Saudi Cup, and it wasn't good. It was it was horrific. Uh, he also was not good at the Breeders' Cup Classic. But before that, before those two tough races, he won three in a row, including defeating Maxfield in the Woodford, uh, including a win in the Charlestown Classic, and an allowance win at Saratoga over this racetrack. Uh, in his first race for Vilmont and really where we kind of got back on track. So Art Collector, I think it's back on track here, gets a win. Um, I really like this horse. I'm skeptical of who's going to be the favorite. Will it be number five Art Collector or will it be number six Mask, Mask Parade? That's my other, you know, that's my other choice in here. I like the five and six. I think they're going to they're going to control things on the front end. I think both of them are going to be pretty tough to run down. Uh, you know, last year we saw Mass Parade kind of progress up and look like he was going to be a pretty good horse. He won the Ohio Derby. He uh, then was third in the Jim Dandy before finishing sixth in the Travers. Um, was off for a while. Came back May 13th at, at Churchill Downs. Was able to finish second on allowance off that layoff. Then came back and won by a nose last time out. Beat Intrepid Heart, uh, a much older, more experienced horse. Uh but Masquerade's kind of trending in the right direction. I think he's set up to run a pretty good race here, so I think he will be tough. The other one I would look at is number four, King Fury for Kenny McPeak. I mean, you look at this horse, um, you know, kind of was all the rage last year, had to scratch uh, out of the, out of the uh, uh, Kentucky Derby, which obviously was, was uh, disheartening after he came back to win the Lexington. But he was within a half length of Mass Parade in the Ohio Derby. Uh, he had another big win at Churchill Downs a little bit later in the year. Kind of tailed off late. Didn't run well in the Clark. Only one race this year. Came over the synthetic. Draw a line through that. I think he jumps up and runs a lot better today. Uh, and the big key being Jose Ortiz gets aboard. So I think that is another pretty good sign that King Fury might be ready for a little bit of an improved effort here. I don't think he will run quite as poorly as he did last time out. But still... On top, I have a hard time getting away from Art Collector. You just look at the three races where he was in the right class level uh, when he's been with Bill Mott, and they were three really nice wins. I think this qualifies as the right class level today. I think this is where he should excel. So number five, Art Collector on top, Mass Parade, the number six horse is who I've got in second. I know it's not a long shot, but I just think these two are the two best horses and have the speed advantage as far as early pace over the rest of the field. And then maybe King Fury for Kenny McPeak with Jose Ortiz aboard can jump up there and get third or maybe even get second and kind of spice up that exactus. So as you can see, live from Starbucks parking lot for you today. Hey, when the Internet's not working at home, you just go to Starbucks and you steal theirs. And so that's what we're all about at Racing News. We're all about the fans. I said, hey, don't worry about it. I'll be back in an hour. I'm going to do these videos for people. So anyway, there it is. The Alidar Thursday at Saratoga. We've got a nice field of six horses, but I'm going to go number five, Art Collector on top for Bill Mott. All right, guys. Thanks, everybody, for watching this one. If you liked it, make sure to hit like. If you like the Starbucks parking lot, hit like. And make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't yet. And you'll get all of our videos, and you'll get uh, alerted when we do one. And right now, that's like six a day, it feels like. We really are doing a bunch as Saratoga and Del Mar is in the thick of it. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching this one, and we'll see you for the next one.